Hi, I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. And today we're talking business. One question that I get asked pretty frequently is how did you grow and develop your business into a viable, profitable enterprise? I think it's a great question and something that everyone considering getting into this business should absolutely contemplate. What is the fastest way to get your business off the ground and up and running and most importantly getting it profitable? Ironically, I'm actually kind of surprised at just how few photographers have taken advantage of this opportunity. I think one of the most underrated aspects of launching and or growing your business is business networking and understanding the power of business networking and how it can help you dramatically grow your business. That said, the purpose of this video is to give you four pros and three cons of joining a business network and why I think even in spite of the cons that you should probably do it anyway, especially if you're serious about growing your business. Now, if you're curious to learn more, stick around and I'll explain how business networking can dramatically grow your business. I've been shooting as a paid professional since 2006, mostly as a second shooter and shooting on the side via word of mouth. But in 2011, I reached a place where I was doing 10 to 15 jobs a month and I thought it might be a good idea to do something with this thing called photography. I felt like I was ready to launch my own photography business and go full time. But I was petrified of cold calling and I really didn't know where to begin or where to go to get more clients. That is outside of my own sphere of influence that I had built over the previous five years. Ironically, my insurance guy, and he's also a client, asked me if I'd ever considered business networking. Honestly, I hadn't. And then he invited me into a luncheon and, and I went. And the rest is history. If you're struggling to make ends meet or struggling to grow your business, and if you've never considered business networking before, then this video is for you. Now, I recognize this video probably looks like or sounds a little bit like an infomercial, but I promise you, it's not. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you four pros and three cons of business networking and how it can dramatically transform and grow your business. So let's start with the good stuff, the pros of business networking. Number four. Business networks are attended by a lot of players in your local community. Usually there's a realtor, an attorney, insurance companies, electricians, plumbers, AC companies, etc. These people are all small business owners and entrepreneurs just like you. And the one thing they have in common is that they all need pictures, every single one of them, be it for their business or for their families. And they know lots of other people who do too. It turns out many of these people have been in need of a professional photographer for quite some time and they just didn't know where to go or who to talk to. Just by walking through that door and joining a business network, you've just unlocked a bank vault full of new potential clients. Number three, you're going to have an amazing opportunity to showcase your work to a crowd of really influential people. We live in an era of smartphones and their cameras, but unless somebody has an amazing eye, it's likely that they have no idea how to make a picture. I often say that the cell phone camera was one of the greatest gifts to my business ever, because all the proliferation of cell phone cameras has done was put a capable tool into the hands of millions of people who have no idea how to take a picture. Most business networks give each member an opportunity to speak in front of their group. And speaking for myself, I always do a full-blown presentation of my work, complete with music, images projected onto a screen, just as if my audience were that married couple that I was delivering wedding photos to in a projection session. It gives you a platform to show everyone why photography isn't just about the camera, the same way great food isn't determined by the quality of the chef's pots and pans. Number two, business networking is all about connections. You know the old expression, it's not what you know, it's who you know? Well, in a lot of these networks, you're gonna be exposed to the who's who in your local community, and they will help you make the connections that you need in order to get your business rolling. You'll gain access to people in your local community that you'd otherwise probably have a very difficult time ever getting a hold of. I'm speaking from a position of experience. It's true, I've been introduced and done business with people I never thought I'd ever be exposed to. Business networking helped me in this regard tremendously. Which of course leads us to number one. 
because if you join, you're gonna to get to know these people. More importantly, they're gonna to get to know you. And let me tell you right now, there is no better qualified lead than a referral from a colleague in a business network. The leads are almost always a very high quality that ultimately lead to business. I mean like 85, 90% of the time. Sometimes it's a lot of business. I've been rewarded with repeat clients over and over again thanks to my business networks. Okay, so like anything, business networking has its fair share of downsides too. There are some things that you're gonna to need to get over and there are some necessary evils in business networking as well. So let's get to the cons. This next part isn't so much about cons, it's more like potential pitfalls that you need to be aware of. Number three, what you put in is what you get out. You can't join a business network and just expect leads to come your way with minimal effort on your part. You'll need to be a good networker too. As you interact with your clients on a day-to-day -day basis, keep your eyes and your ears open as to their needs outside of your core competency as a photographer. Maybe your client needs an electrician, maybe they need a plumber, etc. Being a good business network requires you to give as much as you take. It's all about karma. What goes around, comes around. If all you do is take, 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 no one is gonna to wanna to refer you. However, if you give leads consistently, your networking colleagues will know that you're looking out for them and you'll build trust and you will build credibility with them and in no time, they're gonna start referring you business too. Number two, you're going to need to get comfortable with public speaking. It's often said that people would rather die than speak in public. Nothing is worse than being uncomfortable with public speaking when you walk into that first business networking meeting because invariably, you're going to have to stand up, introduce yourself, often in front of a very large group of people and explain who you are, what you do, and what a good referral is for you. You might find this really hard to believe, but this was a huge challenge for me. You might be surprised to hear me, hear me tell you that I'm actually a little bit of an introvert. Honestly, it takes a huge effort on my part to get in front of a large group of people and speak and do it confidently. Many of you don't know this, but I started this YouTube channel back in 2006, and at the time, I was so chicken shit to get in front of the camera that my first series of reviews was a photo montage and the review was written in the description below. The reason why I'm telling you this is because if I can do this, so can you. It's hard to get over, but it's a big part of business networking. And if you are deathly afraid of public speaking, just know again that if I can do this, so can you. Which of course leads us to number one. The number one potential pitfall is the financial commitment to business networking. It's not free. If you find a network that is free, then it's likely that it's not necessarily a good network. The financial commitment to business networking can range anywhere from $300 to $1,000 per year, plus the cost of special events. However, in my experience, business networking has paid off for me in spades. I'm currently in two different business networks and I'm contemplating joining a third. But on average, I'm getting four to five times the cost back annually in direct business and four to five, four to five times more in indirect business through connections. Think of business networking as a business marketing expense, one that I believe is totally worth it. So that's it, four pros and three pitfalls to business networking. And in my opinion, the pros seriously outweigh the cons. And it's a very effective way to launch or grow your photography business. By the way, one of those cons that you can turn into a positive is public speaking. Because if you can get over your fear of public speaking, public speaking can turn into the most important pro of business networking in your life over time. Being able to effectively communicate in front of a large group is one of the most important skills you can possess in your career. One other thing, for some reason, photographers, at least around here in Southwest Florida, they aren't in at least half of the available business networks. I've checked around and there are opportunities aplenty. Do you and your business a favor and seriously consider business networking. I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny, Southwest Florida. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like or better yet, subscribe. And until the next time, happy shooting.